Free BSD reviews, tutorials and gaming. While it's true that FreeBSD makes a fantastic workstation and server operating system, you can make multimedia presentation, edit videos, create songs, pictures, graphics, anything you want. But the perhaps one thing that FreeBSD is not known for is playing games. We don't really have access to all the latest games. Um, Steam doesn't yet work on FreeBSD natively, although there are some brave individuals who can get it working via Wine or even attempt to use the Linux ABI. But realistically, we're never going to beat PlayStation. Although, ironically, the PlayStation does use FreeBSD as its base operating system. So in this series of videos, what we're going to do is I'm going to look at some gameplay of simple games, games that are available for FreeBSD, and games that you might not have seen. And this particular game is called Zaz. The goal is to remove all incoming marbles by rearranging their order and making triplets or quartets of the same colour. It came out originally in 2009, with the last stable release being in 2010. It's a multi-platform game, available on Windows, Linux, of course FreeBSD, and even the Amiga, which I think is brilliant. It's a single player puzzle game, licensed under the GPL version 3. The website of the game is available in the description down below. Zaz has a fantastic feature in that it can record your gameplay as you play. You don't need an external software to capture it. You can save the gameplay after the game is finished with an option that comes up on the screen, which is pretty cool. And it saves it in an OGV, an OGG format. I don't actually do too bad in this game. Anyway, this is only a short video just showing the basic gameplay of me completing the first level. So if you want to try the game, if you're on FreeBSD, which I hope you are, it's PKG install Zaz. And that's it. I'll catch you next time where we'll have another game.